Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new doll to open. This is the new Monster High Skolita Holiday Edition. Super excited. This is my first Skolita I've ever like purchased. I think at the time when I was collecting Monster High, I didn't collect too deep with Monster High, I guess is what you could say. Um, I stopped collecting at a certain point, and I think it was before Skolita was even really a thing. Um, but I'm glad I'm recollecting dolls again and getting back into this hobby. Uh, I'm super excited about this because, again, first Skolita ever. Um, also, it's the new holiday edition. Love the Day of the Dead. Um, look to this box, everything about her. Um, I just love her makeup. Um, she's just really pretty, and I'm super excited to get her out of this box. So let's get her open. Um, this box is so pretty. I would want to keep it, but usually I don't keep boxes. I just love the mix of like spider webs and candles on it. Oh well. Okay, sorry. So let's get her out. I like these holiday boxes because they're not like super complicated to open <laughs> um, compared to the other boxes for some reason. Well, Bratz boxes are kind of hard to open, but Monster High, it's a hit and miss. Um, love the artwork in the box. So cool. Has a stand over here on the side. Um, of course, we have the collector card here. not in this card here. Yep, this is it. Special edition. Nothing in there. I like to keep them in the plastic because you never know. I'll do that later. The stand is back here. Well, part of the stand is back here at least. This is sim similar to the Claudine stand, which I already have a video of her up. Her hair feels like it's got some sort of product in it. It's okay. We can always wash it out. Perfect. All right, so she is out of the box. And she is gorgeous. She's got this plastic um, thing to keep her skirt, you know, elevated or pull pushed out, but I might keep that in for the meantime for posing and pictures. Love her headpiece. Super cute. I wonder why, oh, for some reason I thought they were upside down. No, they're not upside down, okay. <laughs> um, makeup is beautiful. Love this look on her, super cute. Oh, she doesn't have any ears because she's, I guess, a skeleton. <laughs> Um, her body is skeleton-like too, which is really cool. Different, even her legs and her shoes. Um, super cute. Got the marigold flowers. Um, hair, like I said, is pretty, it's actually pretty nice. It's, it's pretty soft, but it does feel like it's got some product in it. One thing I might want to do with her is add in some orange hair. I think that a really, like tie in like more of her look 
Um, so I might do that in the future. I'm currently going to reroute the Claudine hair because I tried to style it and I used a heat tool and the hair was not heat tool ready. So my mistake, don't use a heat tool on the Claudine holiday. Um, just doesn't work. So she's getting rerouted altogether. Anyways, but this one, I like her hair. I like that it does, it's not too wavy. It's not crazy. The Claudine holiday doll's hair was really curly, but it was like a curl that you just can't like redo. <laughs> and it ends up becoming like all clumpy and messy. So I wanted to redo that curl on her. And again, I messed up her hair. But yeah, she is super cute. Love the outfit. Love the aesthetic. Love that this is a holiday doll. Especially like this is they haven't like re like they haven't introduced her in like the G3 line. So they're keeping like the G1 or G2. I'm not sure if she's G2 or G1. I'm still kind of confused on all that. But um yeah, I'm really excited for her. I'm going to take pictures of her after this video and post her. Um if you did like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on all my social medias listed down below. I will post a TikTok with her transformation in there as well. All right. As always, thanks for watching.